This video is going to describe Ohm's Law, what we use it for, and just really what it is. So German physicist George Ohm discovered this law after frequently observing how adding different things into a circuit affected the voltage and the current flowing through that circuit. Um, and he described that as that resistance. Imagine for a moment that electrons are much like you. Looking at these two pictures, which hallway do you think you could run faster through? The crowded hallway on the left or the less crowded hallway on the right? If you said the less crowded hallway on the right, you're correct. That really shows what resistance is. The speed you ran down that hallway is essentially the current. So the less resistance there is, the more current we have the easier it is for those electrons to flow through. And that's all that Ohm's Law is describing to us and explaining, is how that resistance affects the current and vice versa. This picture is a great representation of Ohm's Law. So you can see the voltage is trying to push that current, those electrons through it, and the Ohm, which is the unit of resistance, is preventing that flow. And the more resistance there is, the smaller that hole is, the less current you can we use Ohm's Law to predict the different aspects of a circuit, whether that's the current, the voltage, or the resistance that's going through. So engineers can use this to figure out what power source they're going to need, how many devices they can include in their creations, and things along those lines. This relationship can be described by the formula V equals IR, which basically just tells us that the voltage is equal to the current times the resistance. So if one goes up, the other has to go down.